Fire destroys a family's home, leaving them only with the clothes on their backs. They're okay, but their pets didn't make it. News 13's Rex Hodge is live outside the home in Canton. And Rex, this is hard for the family and heartbreaking about those dogs. Uh, yes, the Williams family lost everything inside this mobile home, including their eight dogs. Now, I spoke with Terry Williams. He was too distraught to speak with me on camera, but he did tell me that he's grateful his family is okay. And now the community is rallying to help them. Midday Monday, fire destroyed a mobile home along Walnut Ridge Road in Canton. Fire trucks from the Center Pigeon Volunteer Fire Department remained on the scene Tuesday, putting out hot spots. When we arrived, it was full, it fully involved from one end to the other. An electric heater is the suspected cause. All we found of the heater was a big bundle of wires. The home belonged to Terry Williams. Fire Chief Johnny Pless says Williams lived here with his family. Two adults and four children live in here, and they were uh, eight dogs in the house, of which all eight dogs didn't survive. They were terrier breed, the terrier breed of some kind. Williams, his wife, and kids were not home at the time. They could use all the help they could get. But David Ingle was close by, renovating a mobile home with a co-worker. Yeah, we've seen the smoke. They realized there was too much just to be trash burning, so they ran over to help. So Rob knocked the window out, and I got the front door open hollering for the dogs, but it was, you know, too much smoke. Ingle says Terry Williams and his family are left with only the clothes on their backs, with no insurance, staying now with his mother-in-law a few trailers away. We're going to step up the plate and help them. Pastor Dan Page says Crestview Baptist Church is taking donations for the family. The church has uh, issued uh, some gift cards from Walmart to start buying basic necessities. All to help a family get back on their feet. David Ingle says it's a shame. It sure is. We are getting closer to warmer weather, but Center Pigeons Fire Chief says we still have colder temperatures here and there in March, so he reminds people to be very careful about placing and using their electric heaters. We still have a little bit uh, of cold weather left here. Reporting live tonight from Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13.